Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a fun one here. 2023 Bowman Draft Baseball 8-Box Jumbo Edition. This is pick your team number two. All card chip. Tom Brady's are going to go to the Nationals, etc., etc. Josh Gibson Retrofractor will be randomized. All right, that makes sense. That's our usual. That's what we usually would do. Big thanks to this group for making it happen here on Wednesday the 13th. Hump day. Pick your team two. If you have Jumbo 2 next to your name, that means you won those spots in the filler that we did not too long ago. We did that in a separate video. There's Jeff with Last Spot Mojo and the Cardinals. Joe, what's going on? Joe Howard, Baltimore Orioles. Good to see you, Joe. Appreciate you and everybody for getting in. Let's get this jumbo case going here. Oh, sorry. This Christmas train being knocked around here. Got it. All right, oh, that part already loosened up there. Let's pop that open. There are the jumbos. All right, there we go. Empty box. And let's move Dodgers ornament guy. There he is right there. Okay, I'm going to have to move over there for a little bit. I'm going to make myself a little bit of room. Stack some boxes back there. Stack some more over here. All right, so with Jumbo, three autographs per box. Super Jumbo has five. All right, good luck everybody. Matt Arnold wants to see some Royals. That'd be nice. Uh, there is, who's the, Mitchell, Blake Mitchell or something like that? I feel like is, is the guy we want to chase for Kansas City. The key guys that we're highlighting, that we're focusing on here would be these guys. All card chip. In case you're wondering, as of uh, as of 4:45 Los Angeles time on Wednesday, December 13th, 2023, I have yet to pull any kind of Tom Brady. Matt Smith has the Nationals. I'm sure he's he's hoping that today is the day. All right, and away we go. Good luck, everyone. We've got Max, some paper here. Max Clark's going to Tristan and the Tigers. Paul Skeens will be going to Tristan and the Pirates. Colt Emerson's will go to Seattle. Steve in Seattle. And nice. These are the uh, Mood Ring short prints. And that is Paul Skeens. Nice. It's a strong one there for Tristan and the Pirates. Good start. Got a gold Jack Mahoney, 35 out of 50. That'll be for the Rockies. It's gonna to go to Mark L.
Got a Jacob Wilson for the A's. Alexander, who won that in the filler. Roger Garius, 283 out of 499 for the Yankees. It's going to go to Matt Smith. Nolan McClain. Uh, looks like these parallels are not numbered, but they look nice. And here's our uh, first autograph, Justin Reimer. Boston Red Sox, Kyle with Boston. Base auto. I like these glass parallels they have in here. That's Colt Emerson. That's going to be for Steve and Seattle. Wyatt Lang for a lot of Wyatts in this class as well. Something I noticed. But here's Wyatt Langford, one of the uh, more highly touted Wyatts. Number four overall pick. Jacob Wilson, nice to 125. That'll be for Alexander and the A's. Number six overall pick, another highly touted prospect here. So that hero Wyatt. Wyatt Kroll. And there's a Brock Vradenberg for the Marlins. That's going to be for Jeff. Jeff on the board with the fish with the spot that he won in the filler. Max Clarks, all those will go to Tristan and the Tigers. Let me find some numbers. Some ink from Mr. Max, among others. There's another Wyatt, Wyatt Huddleful. Should be one more autograph in this stack. There's Paul Skeens. I'm probably gonna miss some key players here and there, but remember, all card ships, so don't worry. They'll, they'll all get to you. Got a blue Devin uh, Salty Bond to 150. That'll be for the Phillies. Charles with the Philadelphia Phillies. There's a Matt Shaw. Jacob Wilson. And we've got a TJ Nichols, 138 out of 199 for the Rays. That'll be for Mark B. Paul Skeens up here as well, followed by Matt Shaw. EA has the Cubs. You'll get all those Matt Shaws. Spencer Jones, uh, Kristen Campbell, Christian Campbell.
And there's our third auto, Mac Horvath. Blue Wave auto for Joe and the O's. Here you go, Joe. First box. Got a hit. 47 out of 150 on the second round pick. Orioles have been, yeah, you're welcome, Joe. Thanks for getting in. Good to see you. Orioles. Been racking up, collecting some nice youngsters and prospects over the years. There might be an ownership change for the Orioles at some point. A lot of, a lot of big things happening with the O's. I think ownership change is going to be a big thing when and if that happens. And uh, I think the lease on Camden Yards might be up, something like that. So they might look to try to try to you know put a little more funding into that, do some updates to that to that park. Maybe they'll get them to spend a little money on payroll. Put some stars around those youngsters and. See what happens. Like a lot of things happening around that region. I think in DC, the Wizards owner? Wizards and Capitals owner, maybe? Or is it the same person? Might move a, a little south, I think from the district to build a new sports complex that'll house those teams. And I guess the commanders will probably look for a new stadium as well. A lot, a lot of changes in that, a lot of good upgrades in that region. Yeah, Joe Howard says, yeah, I hope they do switch ownership. And the lease was signed for another 30 years. All right, so that's set. Dots and I's, cross and T's. Yeah, maybe some new new ownership. Just the and now's a good time. I think I mean you know maybe the Angelos family they're like, hey, this might be a good time to sell while the team has a lot of future potential. Got a lease locked up, all that sort of stuff. You know, team valuation's been going up for decades now. 004 out of 199, Garrett Bowman for the Braves. They can cash out. You know. They can cash out and, and someone could get a nice team with a beautiful ballpark. You know, and a fan base hungry for some, uh, for an ownership that might breathe some life into uh, this young and exciting team. All good things. We got Adrian Santana to 199. Buzz around Los Angeles is that the Dodgers are going to try to trade for Tyler Glass now and Manuel Margot. Although most fans want Manuel Margot to be switched out with Randy Arozarena, but the price tag is going to be a lot bigger if that happens in a trade. They met with Yamamoto, the Japanese free agent. So while uh, he's going on his tour, I think he met some teams here in LA too. And he's also going around, flying around too. He's all over the place. Obviously, I'm happy with Otani being a Dodger. I think uh, MLB announced that his that Otani's Dodger 17 jersey was the fastest selling jersey in 24 hours or something like that. There's Maui Ahuna speckle autograph for the Giants. That's going to be for Tristan. The Dodgers really need those starting pitching. A lot of guys coming off of injuries. And a lot of just pitchers who are just unproven, too young. So if they can get two sort of bona fide starting pitchers, 
be, feel pretty confident about about a strong season. Obviously, would love Aros Arena. I feel like he's the kind of player the Dodgers need, a sort of clutch playoff hitter. I mean, as long as you have the arms, that's usually a recipe for a deep run into the playoffs. There's uh, Jason Woodard, 90 out of 125. Dodgers have been looking at Corbin Burns, too, although maybe the Brewers aren't going to give up Corbin Burns now. I don't know what the case is there, but Dodgers have been looking at Corbin Burns and shortstop Willie Dennis since last year, last summer. I like these glass cards right here. There's Anatello for Boston. That's going to be for Kyle. There's Marcelo Meyer to 250. And I guess what other, uh, I guess Cody Bellinger still needs a home. That's another free agent domino that could fall somewhere. I feel like I've not heard any buzz about, uh, I feel like I haven't heard any buzz about, or any connections or rumors as to where Bellinger may go. I think there were initial rumblings about maybe maybe the Yankees, but I don't know if they have the money to sign Bellinger to a long-term deal. That's what he's probably looking for. Giants, maybe Giants. Giants have a lot of money. They they allegedly said, "Hey, we gave we offered Otani just as much as the Dodgers did." Celestin goes to the Mariners. Steve Skeens will go to Tristan and the Pirates. Cole Emerson will also go to Steve again. Pilsen, what's going on? Dodgers trade for Dylan Cease. Poor kid with your White Sox, tired of this owner. Yeah, let's, we'd be happy, to, I'd be happy to adopt Dylan Cease and put him in a good home. There's Joe uh, Vetrano. Speaking of the Dodgers, Jeff with the Dodgers, with my Dodgers. We do have a lot of prospects, so I think I mean, they might they might still flex their, their 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 financial muscle and still get Yamamoto, but I think they'll probably be more active. They should be, in my opinion, they should be more active in the trade market. They've got a lot of youngsters coming up the pipeline. Not a lot of places for them to play. I don't know if they'll get too many opportunities too. A lot of stars in a lot of different positions. Nice by Langford. Not numbered, but we'll go to the Rangers, Steve C. I think the Dodgers have been linked to Dylan Cease as well. And there's our third auto of the box, Tommy Hawk. Not Tony Hawk, but Tommy Hawk. For the Guardians, Brian. Cleveland, this is for you. There's transformative talent, Wyatt Langford. He's is a beast being wasted here. You know, I was talking about, I think I was talking about this with Rex the other night, where we were just, every, for the last few years, for the last few years, I've always been like, man, that White Sox team looks really good on paper. You know? But, you know, they, pre like, pre like Lance Lynn decline, he was 
he was a beast gobbling up innings. Dylan Cease was there, and Eloy Jimenez, Luis Robert, Jose Abreu, Tim Anderson. You know, kind of a like a fun young team to watch. But yeah, they kind of there was sort of a misstep with with Tony Larusa. I don't know if that was the best best manager for the White Sox. Didn't work out well. Well, yeah, they're not just spending money for a manager. I feel like they're like a manager away. <laughs> you know, someone to tie all that together, put them on the same page. Same with the Bears, yeah. Well, the Bears have been looking good the past two, three games. And <laughs> Lewis has slept a lot. is still still battling some some alcohol issues too I think Eric what up did I sabotage the fanatic no far from it Eric Jennings I've been helping push that 20 box break on this uh, on this very stream 20 case break on this very stream what happened speckles are not numbered by the way Something going on over there? Mike wasn't working. Did they unmute? Did you unmute? Is Emmett Olson to 199? 62 out of 199. Marlins, Jeff with the fish. There's Emmanuel Bonilla, 60 out of 199, that purple lunar. For Toronto, that'll be for Jeff. No, there's no sabotage here, Eric. Yeah, the money all goes to the same place, all under the same umbrella, Jaspies. Sports, cars, and collectible. Is there still a problem? Over there, did they fix it? Cam Fisher. That's Max Anderson, not Max Clark. Sorry, Max Anderson. We're looking for Mr. Clark. Well, they had to restart the stream. Hopefully it's working now. Ah, here's the very noble Meyer. That's gonna go to Jeff and the Marlins. Nathan Detmer to 499 for the A's. Alexander. The Paul Skeens draft insert card. Pirates. For Skeens to to work on that mustache, I feel like he should really fill that out a little bit more. It's the makings of a great mustache. Could be one of the greats. Could be could be on the Jaspies all mustache team. Could make a play for that. Got 
Um, I don't know. Did it look like a short print? The numbers end in 1-5. Is that a short print number? Card 118. Here's some Jacob Wilson glass. Nice. It's a different picture? Oh, okay. Sleeved up. We'll get top loaded. Jacob Wilson glass is going to go to Oakland. Alexander with Oakland. Jacob Wilson right there. Matt Shaw, Ryan Clifford to 250. That'll be for Joe Ivers and the Metropolitans. What are the Mets doing this offseason? I feel like that is a, uh, that's a team that has some muscle, some financial muscle that they can flex. Yeah. Looks like Fanatics live stream is back. For those of you who are looking for that. And a nice Draft Picks Prospects autograph, Bryce Eldridge. I haven't seen one of these yet. Ooh, nice. So confirm that Jackson Holiday is indeed a short print. Giants, Tristan with the Giants at 73 out of 99. So the usual card is of him hitting. Sounds like that 20 caser is sold out. Which is good because I'm on Fanatics Live tomorrow. And I didn't, I didn't feel like doing that solo. This is Jumbo 2. I wrote it in the schedule. Unless I forgot. No, nope, it's on the schedule. Yeah, Jumbo 2. And there is Adrian Santana for the Rays. That'll be for Mark. Lakers are in San Antonio. They just tipped off. Get a look at Wembenyama. Man, he's big. Anthony Davis looks small compared to him. Oh, is that Wembenyama with a no-look pass? Is that Anthony Davis on the ground clutching his ankle after the first play of the game? Oh no.
cut to commercial, what's happening. If they come back to a shot of him going down the tunnel, don't like that. We've got Quinn McDaniel, 36 out of 75, yellow parallel. For Tristan and the Giants, here's a transformative talent, Max Clark insert. Which look pretty cool, I think. Paul Skeens, Pirates. Dave McCraw. I guess that's the regular Jackson Holiday right there, paper version. No, Anthony's back on the floor. Good. There's Rock Riggio. That's for Matt Smith and the Yankees. 336 out of 499. Michael. Oh, there is. Who? Ralphie Velasquez in the garden. All right. We're looking for local guys in this Bowman draft set. There's Jack Winninger to 499. We'll look for Ralphie, who's from San Pedro, which is just maybe 10, 15 minutes south of us here. No traffic. There's uh, the very noble Meyer. Glass. Very noble Meyer, his autograph this time. There you go, Jeff and the Marlins. Getting the 10th uh, overall pick.
There it is, Teddy McGraw, the purple chrome autograph for Seattle. Steve with the M's. 191 out of 250. Let's see if we can find his, his future teammate in here somewhere. All right, gang, we're officially halfway through. We're about 37 minutes in, so yeah, about another, probably another 35 minutes to go. We'll do an autograph recap at the end. Let's get to box number five, second half. This is a eight box jumbo pick your team two, 2023 Bowman Draft Baseball. It just dropped yesterday. And we've got um, another jumbo case that we can do tonight. That's in its last filler, giving away 11 teams. Uh, 21 spots left. We're only selling 22 spots outright. We're randomizing those 22 names. Top eight will get extra spots. Then we'll do the, uh, the that blaster break itself. Then we'll randomize the full list again. Top 11 will get teams and pick your team three and we can knock out another one of these. Another box, good luck. All schemes. And Cam Collier. Nice. 139 out of 150. One of the Reds is a big prospects here. Brian Crouch with the Reds was the 18th overall pick last year, 2022. Colt Emerson, Chrome Card. And we've got a black chrome Sean Sullivan. What is that number two? First one of those I've seen. Uh, Mark won the Rockies in the filler and it's out of 75. Nice, 46 out of 75. Looks pretty sharp, nice. Paul Skeens, Glass, Tristan of the Pirates. I like that glass, that glass design is nice, nice addition to this year's set. A 
Got a paper Wyatt Langford for Steve and a chrome Wyatt Langford for Steve. Second half. Philip Abner, uh, that is a green grass parallel here. You can kind of see the grass. That's going to go to Nestor and the Diamondbacks, one of the snakes in the filler. And a class of 2023, Cole Carrick. I like how that, that purple matching the team nicely here. Nice little color match. And that's another one for Mark and the Rockies. Two of the three. Nice design there. Got a Carlos Jorge, 330 out of 499, followed by a Dean Jorge. Roderick Arias, that blue color not numbered. And there's our third auto, Austin Troser, Blue Wave autograph for the Mets, Joe Ivers. Forty-eight out of one fifty. The Mets fourth round pick. Any other baseball stories here? We got nothing too crazy here. Nationals plan to use Nick Senzel as a primary third baseman. Penguins and Pirates agree to joint ownership of Sportsnet Pittsburgh. Trace Thompson signs a minor league deal. Roberto Perez signs a minor league deal. Jorge Alfaro signs a minor league deal. Daniel Hudson signs a minor league deal. Francisco Alvarez open to extension with the Mets. But here's the fun news of the day. 
And we, we, we can all, I feel like we've all become contract lawyers here with this Otani contract. Otani contract contains conditional opt-out clause based on ownership, comma, front office. It's interesting. I suppose that makes sense. So if either owner, controlling owner Mark Walter or the president of baseball operations, Andrew Friedman, if either of them leave bro, the organization, for 10 years, bro. he gains the opt-out possibility. It's like, you're going you're gonna to get rid of me? That means Otani's going, bro. Right. I like, uh, I'll bet Andrew Friedman was like, you know what? That gives me a 10-year guaranteed deal. Yeah. Not get rid of me. You see, though, that the NBA is suspended indefinitely? So what does that mean? You don't even know how many games? Who? Draymond? Yeah. Yeah, that's indefinitely, indefinitely means deal. until further notice. Yeah, could be one game, could be ten games, could be the entire season. Not that Andrew Freeman's job was ever in danger, but I suppose it's like in the, in the crazy event that the, maybe the Dodgers sell the team or something like that. I think maybe that might be the, uh, the thing. Another, a little more fun thing was MLB announcing a spring breakout prospect series. We'll talk about that when I'm ripping open some packs next. But basically, it's a four-day series of exhibition games in which the organization's top prospects will participate in spring training contests between March 14th and 17th, which I think is... For baseball prospectors out there, I mean, you might see some of these guys in the stuff you're collecting today. You may see them in March in action, and that's that's going to help value, I think, secondary market value. There's Jacob Gonzalez, mood ring, short print. That will be for the White Sox, Jeremy Taylor. Henny, what's going on? You have the Padres in this one. You, yeah, you're Henry. No Padres yet. No autograph Padres yet or numbered cards. We still got a lot of boxes to go. Rob, what's going on? Chase Davis, Lunar to 199. For the Cardinals, that's going to be for Jeffrey. Spencer Jones to four ninety nine. Some sky blue paper for Matt Smith and the Yankees. Here's Zach Thornton for Joe Ivers and the Metropolitans. Three seventy out of four ninety There's Brandon Maia, 7 out of 10. Nice little number there for Matt and the Yankees. And an orange, Lucas Gordon, 2 out of 25. White Sox, Jeremy Taylor. Love the way that orange looks.
And he's saying prices are, are good here. Why is it taking so long to fill? Yeah. I'd like to know that too. Maybe people think there's a catch. Maybe people think, oh, why are prices this good? There must be a catch. No catch. There's Jacob Gonzalez. Glass for the White Sox, Jeremy. Yeah, go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, ladies and gentlemen. Don't don't take my word for it. Take Henry's word for it. Henry's saying prices are good here. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Tell your friends, tell a family member, tell a coworker, tell your friends on Instagram, TikTok. Get them in on it. And there's Nathan Detmer to 250. A's, that'll be for Alexander. And some more Paul Skeens for Tristan and the Pirates. Matt Shaw, and there's a Kendall George for the Dodgers. It's going to be for Jeff and my Dodgers. Their late first round pick. And yeah, that's, that's the guy for the Dodgers, right, Henry Sane? Like 36th overall looks like some sort of competitive balance pick or something like that in between the first and second. Although if the, if the Dodgers get guys like Ars Arania and we'll have room for that guy, Dodgers are going to face a, a prospect, you know, pipeline sort of jam. At some point, they're going to start moving some prospects. Maybe not him, but maybe some of the major league ready ones. Someone said the Super Auto was hit in Japan. And there's our third. It's Sabin Ceballos. Ceballos? Ceballos. And that's for Alexander and the Braves. Won that in the uh, won the Braves in the filler. Nice. We'll do a little recap after the two boxes to go. Almost there. So that prospect series sounds very interesting. I have no idea, is it? Is that Sabine Onions? Henry's saying brain. From Rob Manfred, he's saying, uh, quote, spring breakout will provide a new opportunity to showcase the future stars of the game as they continue on their journey to the major leagues, our fans get a unique opportunity to meet our best prospects, get autographs, see the next generation of major league major leaguers up close. While it's not uncommon for highly regarded prospects to participate in spring training contests, they're frequently plugged in as just late game substitutions alongside an MLB roster. 
Lower minor league players are often in the minor league portion of spring training while playing on the backfields at teams complexes. So before today, there hasn't been anything specifically designed to get a club, get a club's most talented players, regardless of age and level, all on the same field in front of a larger audience. This won't dramatically change the spring training season, but sets aside a few days to give fans a look at the future of the organization. I like that. I think that's great. I'm sure MLB Network or somebody will televise it or something like that. Get to see all these prospects together at once. You know, a couple highlight moments for some of these players might be good for the hobby, might be good for your collection. So, it's a good thing. Rob was close. Onion is Cebola. Ce Ceboya? It's close. Paul Skeens. Oh, Lakers already have 38 points. Who started the second quarter? A couple minutes into the second quarter. There's Samuel Zavala, 172 out of 250, purple chrome. That's for Henny and Penny. And another Padre. Green Paper, 1999, Prince, Jay Bashirs. The so Padres are warming up a little bit here. EA with all of those uh, Matt Shaws. These ones aren't numbered. These Lunars are not numbered, but they look pretty cool. And look at that, it is a Padres box. Gold Wave on card autograph, Jay Bashirs. Seven out of 50. You're welcome. Thanks for getting in. He's not the Padres guy. Still a hit, though. We'll take it. No, no Langford or Colt Emerson autographs. Not yet, anyway. Gold. Really, uh, really pops. We're looking for head, some bush, and bashirs. Things that things that you would use shears on. Ty P. What did Michael Jaspi pull? Yell it out, Michael.
What'd they pull? Tristan, if you're here, you better go over to the Fanatics live stream. Oh, actually, I can watch on the desktop. Wow. It's a Brady auto. What's it number to? Wow. What out of 50? Wow. It's nice. All right, let's try to beat that here. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. This is nice. We got a Paul Skeens mood ring. Tristan and the Pirates. I feel like someone was saying that there isn't any Tom Brady in HTA, but I can't believe those rumors, ladies and gentlemen. It's Marcus Brown, 75. Matt Smith in the Nationals. Just red and gold in HT, and super was in a jumbo. It's good enough for me. This is Garrett Forrester to four ninety nine. And we got another Jay Bashirs. It is a Padres box. Base this time. And we got a Rock Riggio, Matt Smith and the Yankees. Welcome to the Rock. Welcome to the Rock. All right, eighth and final box. Thanks everybody for getting in. This is 2023 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo. Eight box case break, pick your team two. Pick your team three is in the store right now in a filler with eight spots within the filler being given away. That's still holding at 21. Super Jumbo is down to 22. Pick your team four, all teams available straight up. 12 teams left on that. We can get a couple more of these going tonight. We'll go through some more orders after this. I may take a quick little break to snack on some food. And we'll come back and maybe do another, another jumbo break. It'd be pretty nice.
Might be able to, should be able to do Pigger Team 3 tonight. And we've got a good chance of doing Pigger Team 4 as well. All right, good luck gang, final box. Let's try to finish strong here. I feel like it's been a pretty solid break thus far, but wouldn't mind ending with like a train whistle heading out of five or under. Let's see one of those. If not, let's keep searching. Keep going on that monster hunt. We've got more jumbo in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's a Marion Boyd to 125. That'll be for Charles and the Phillies. We've got a Blue Jays auto, that's Jace uh, Boffrin. That'll be for Jeff and Toronto. Emerson paper. We've seen a lot of those. Maybe, maybe some ink would be would be awesome. So Matt Shaw for the Cubs. Max Clark. Henry's saying Jace is a good bat. This this Jace might be a good bat too. Josh's brother. We got 6975 Luke Keshal for Mark and the Twins. Yellow Lunar. Paper Wyatt Langford. Got a Bryce Eldridge glass for Tristan and the Giants. Got a Braden Taylor, 42 out of 199 for the Rays, Mark B.
Matt Shaw. Haven't seen any of his ink or any color here as well. Need to see some of that. That'd be nice. And here is a Marlin, Kemp Alderman, for Jeff and Miami. Marlin's uh, second round pick. Here's a Jacob Wilson for the A's, for Alexander. for one more autograph. Better be here. Have a good night. Thank you. All right, good night. Bye, Mike. All right, and behind Luis Angel Acuna is Michael Carrico. Blue Wave autograph for EA and the Cubs. Not the Matt Shaw we were looking for, but on the board at the very end, 99 out of 150, Cubs fifth round pick. And that closes it out. Recap. Tons of uh, parallels right here that our sorting and shipping team will take care of, but here are the hits and other sort of low numbered cards or other Highlights right here, mood ring, out of 10, another mood ring, class of 2023, glass, Jackson Holiday uh, image variation, some more glass, the, the lunar parallels look cool, there was a Colt Emerson glass, and another Paul Skeen's mood ring, which is pretty awesome. There you go, gang. Eight box, pick your team two in the books. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next Bowman Draft Break. Bye-bye.